Calling all festival goers, funk lovers and insane clown, posse obsessed juggalos, told that's what they're called. It's time for Riot Fest. The Chicago Festival returns to Douglas Park despite controversy and angst from locals. It's back at Douglas Park this weekend for an eclectic lineup of musical acts ranging from the Foo Fighters to someone named Mr. Bungle sometimes my nickname here. Joining us now, just down the hall, is director and resident musicologist Mauricio Reyes. Uh, Mauricio, nice to see you on the other side of the camera today, my friend. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right, day one, tomorrow afternoon, what do you got? Who's standing out to you? You know, regular Joes like me, who should we, who should we check out? Well, it's for me, this is like punk rock Christmas Eve. And mm -hmm. you gotta get there early tomorrow for this band from the UK, Yard Act. They're on the bottom of the lineup, but in uh, my mind, they're at the top. Uh, they're from the UK, they're from Leeds. They were my favorite album of last year. They had my favorite song last year. And if you don't trust my opinion, they were also nominated for the Mercury Prize, which goes uh, for uh, the best album in the UK. Uh, after that, we have Braid, who was formed in, Champ in Champagne in the uh, mid-90s. They kind of have that Midwest emo uh, sound. They'll be performing, performing their classic album, Frame and Canvas, in full. Uh, it's kind of full circle for me, because uh, when I was uh, on a student uh, newscast in college, Bob Nana, the lead singer, was one of the first people that I interviewed. Uh, more like a half circle for Bob. Uh, and I know it's kind of sacrilegious not to mention the Foo Fighters, who are headlining tomorrow night, mm -hmm. but my highlight for the evening is this band, uh, Turnstile, there's a hardcore punk band that has broken up, uh, broken into the mainstream in the past couple of years. Uh, they're having a, a moment right now. They were nominated for the Grammys. Uh, they are playing hip hop festivals, so they've been able to do something that hardcore punk bands don't usually do and cross over. Mm -hmm. uh, Yardak, you said them, uh, just a musical note, you said up for the Mercury Prize in... In England, yeah, England. the UK. Is that after yep. Freddie Mercury of Queen fame? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not told. I can't. I don't okay. have an answer for that we one. We don't know. Uh, yeah. But whatever it is, they're up for an it, award that's big in it's the good. UK. Yeah, yeah. and All they're right. really good. So Saturday, uh, I don't recognize any of these bands, and maybe it's me, you know, but my Pandora workout channel is locked on Tina Turner since she passed away. So uh, who should people like me, kind of you know, idiosyncratic, oddball uh, news guys, who should we check out? Uh, Saturday's a, a pretty awesome, wild day. There's this band Drain that I really love, War Paint from L.A., uh, Insane Clown Posse that you mentioned before. SCU Tune uh, is playing. You might know him by his birth name, Hannibal Burris, hometown guy. And uh, then you have Corey Feldman. Uh, and then one of my other highlights that's uh, kind of a really strange, polarizing band. They're called 100 Gex. Uh, they're a hyper pop band. It's the type of music that if you put on in a party, uh, half the people would leave right away, but the other half would stay and have a lot of fun. Uh, there's a Chicago tie, Chicago area tie, because on one of their album covers, they have a tree, and people were able to locate that tree. It's in Des Plaines, and a lot of their fans have been heading down to see this tree, which is called, the tree is called Gekka, so they've been saying that it's a pilgrimage to Gekka, uh, but a very rabid fan base. Uh, later on uh, that night, we got the Postal Service. Uh, Ride Fest does a great job of reuniting bands. The Postal Service last played 10 years ago. They only have one album, but that's how good the album was. Uh, they're led by Ben Gibbard, who you might know uh, from his other band that's playing a little bit earlier in the evening, Death Cab for Cutie. All right, so Corey Feldman is like the actor. It's not just four rockers from Youngstown, Ohio. It's the 80s. It is, yeah. Promising actor, Goonies, etc. He actually is yeah. singing. Okay, absolutely, that's all we got time absolutely, for. Absolutely, and uh, Corey Feldman has enough music that he has his own box set that came out a couple of years ago. So. Okay, all right, well that's remarkable. And uh, Ed Curran's telling me Mercury, com Mercury Communications, they were the originator of the Mercury Prize. So FYI, now we're all covered, all of our bases. Uh, my friend, uh, director and musicologist, uh, Mauricio Reyes, thank you for your insight. You wanna talk uh, about Sunday real quick or no? Uh, that's all we got time for. Okay. We will, uh, we'll, we'll throw something on the web about Sunday. Um, we appreciate you, my friend. Thank no you for joining us. Thank you.